Here Skrilla, what the fuck was you thinking? Yelling R.I.P. tore me to pieces Damn, I miss you, nigga Eating me alive, the fact that you gone Can't even swallow that you not really home I should have never called your phone Yeah, it's your boy, Jock City Street Soldier Saturdays, y'all know what it is, man Platform for the city For all the artists, all the entrepreneurs All the business owners Anybody doing their thing in the city that want to come through and Promote what they got going on Or just, you know, tap in with the city That's what we trying to do We trying to bring some unity to the city Some togetherness And you know what I'm saying? Trying to take this thing to a new level You see what we got going on over here OG Ozilla twisting that thing up Pause You know what I'm saying? Block in the back <laughs> Head DBIC on the ones and twos as always. Excellent production. Special guest host in the building. Y'all see what it is. Cheese Weeds, what's going on, my baby? Man, it's a it's a it's a beautiful day and it's a blessing to be here. Man, That's a shout fact. out to y'all for having your boy. Yeah, man. You know what it is, man. We just trying to, you know, tap in with everybody who doing their thing. We feel like you doing your thing out here. We see you getting back into the music lane. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You've been you you been like a hiatus for a minute, but you like yeah. one of the hottest artists, you know what I mean? That's been doing it for a while, I can say. You know what I'm saying? Hey, good looking, brother. I appreciate that. You see, sure. I see you got that Granville Market, too. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What made you bring that back? Uh, Granville Market. So, uh, like you said, you know what I mean? I took me a little break. You know, life was life. For sure. You feel me? Life was life. But no, uh, I, feel like, I feel like Granville Market is for the people who are out there hustling legally or illegally. And I just feel like... You know, I wanted to put something out there to make people want to go get some money. Word. You know what I'm saying? Granville Market, too. If you know about Granville Market, um, you know, the first one. Yeah, that's you know, what I was going to say. It's, it's about money. That you was, know what that's I'm like saying? I got some projects where I rap rap. Yeah. But when it comes to Granville Market, yeah. we're going to get some money. Yeah. So I felt like that was the right way for me to come back out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For sure, oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. You doing the champagne? Uh, we can. I'm doing. I'm doing whatever y'all offer. Yeah. No, yeah. Diddy. no Diddy. No Diddy. You know no. Yeah, no. No. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, y'all know. Here we talk a little celebrity news, hip hop news, Instagram shit, social media shit, sports. Let's talk a little sports. We was talking a little sports off camera. You know what I'm saying? Everybody seemed like they tapped in. Normally, oh yeah. Normally, if, if, if niggas ain't talking. Certain niggas don't be tapped in. We'll get to talking sports and we'll look over at them. They be looking like deer in the headlights. So we'll just switch off. But oh, you yeah. seem like you tapped no, in. Sports, yes. I'm you know, tapped hey, in for sure. Shout out FanDuel. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, FanDuel yeah. tap in with us. You know what I'm saying? I you know want somebody I mean? with y'all a little bit ago. Yeah. <laughs> tap in. If y'all looking for uh, a new platform to uh be a part of, and, hey, we got y'all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But yo, who you riding with in the playoffs? Man, I ain't gonna lie, brother. My boys and Celtics. That's my favorite team. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I got a butt no, though. I got a butt though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My boys and Celtics. But you, you ride with Brown. No, 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 I know no, Brown, no, 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 but I'm just no, saying. No, no, no. My boys and Celtics, but Jokic ain't nothing to play with though. Yeah. He's not a game. Yeah. Murray is not a game. Them yeah. boys is not, you know what I mean? You think and why I'm saying that is because for the simple fact that I think as of late, you know, um Tatum and Jalen been inconsistent they ain't been together yeah. it's, it's either one or the other you, yeah. can't, you can't get both every time you can't I think not, I, if we could get both i think it's time to blow that up though that's it I, no, I, don't do that. no, no don't do that i think i think every year and they don't get it done and everybody yeah. keeps saying the same thing the next year now they ain't young no more they not young no more on the other side of that though Derek, Derek white just had 31 hey yeah, they got some good role players now, so they maybe do. it's time they can. Tatum fifth year, right? They do. I don't Tatum know. Jordan and motherfucking, uh, yeah, Brian man. Eight. Hey, yeah, yeah. Eight 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 we understand years. that. Yeah, and Brian yeah. had to, Brian had to get up out of there to get that motherfucker, didn't he? It was different yeah, that's fine. Nah, that's fine. don't compare that's him and then say it's different. Nah, I mean, that's fine. It's different, but I'm talking about the years. You can compare, but everybody's situation is different. How I, long it take Giannis? I think and his role was different. I, Eight yeah. years. I think I, everybody who took I still think right. they, like, oh, I still the think they need to break it up. Giannis ain't had to go nowhere. Okay, okay. Well, let me let, let me ask Only you this. LeBron. Let me ask you this. If if and, KD. If, and Kawhi, if they break it up, who would you like to see there? Because I feel like it's Tatum and Jalen. That's a. I, that's, that's a good, a good one too. But I you just like. said they never show up together. They can't. It's I don't know why. Oh, they're gonna be. It's, it's I don't something. know why they don't. They. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see nobody else. They gonna be 
taking one of their spots, though. I don't either, but Me I think you need to... New York can take their spot. No, I'm talking no, about no. as far oh, as players. If like you break player. them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think you? you need to break them up so you can let one of them shine. I think they'd be too confused on who who turn it Who's is. Who's supposed to shine when? Yeah, when, who, I don't... I, I, I don't I, know if... Just gonna break that up so Tatum can go on hit 50 and 60 and ain't gotta worry about getting this nigga some points. Yeah, so that's my team. So what I did notice about them is um, yeah, road, the road, road games right road games is Jalen, home games is Tatum. I don't know if you paid attention to that, but yeah. a lot of the times in the road games... It's Jalen who who going off. Yo, do your world. Go ahead. Pour your own poison. You know what I'm saying? And um um at the home games, that's that's when Tatum get off. But I like when they both get off though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To me. Because mm-hmm. that's what y'all there for. We ain't here for either or. If both of y'all can get off. But you know, since we're talking about sports, shit, that's the same thing with uh with, with KD and Booker. You oh hardly, man, I, that's you, over with. You hardly ever get them to to go. That's go why that's off over together. with. That's over it's with. It's rare. I think Booker got to get up out of there. Because they ain't got no... Uh, I know he well, the Booker, franchise player, but that's the, that's the only way they going to get some money unless they get rid mm-hmm. of KD. You can't trade Bradley Bill because he got the no trade clause. So, yeah. shit, what you going to do? Yeah. They ain't got no picks, no nothing. You got to trade... Who you going to trade? Nurkic? You trade Nurkic, you need a big man. Yeah, facts. One facts. of them niggas got facts. to go else you can't do nothing. I, ain't nobody leaving. They gonna have to get oh, KD upset. He ready to go. He crying already. What? KD crying already. They're they're gonna gonna have have to... Getting swept for the Suns is crazy, they're though. It's wild. Ain't that the two? They Didn't they get swept last year? Who? No. No? no? Think they got no. Swept. Did they get swept last year? I know KD been swept two out of the no. three years. He been, you I don't know, think they got since... swept last I could be wrong. But... I don't no, know. Once again, this is the show. We ain't got the facts on the information. We got the facts on that. They ain't get swept. Leave it in the comments. Brian you know them got swept. I know this year they got swept. That's what I do know. Yeah. yeah. And that's Man, you crazy. Know if, he, if he would have got swept two that's years crazy. in a row, that would be a headline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. I will. I don't know. I know, I know he got I know. KD well, we get did... swept twice? If LeBron got swept twice? Super headline. LeBron KD is- get K- KD get swept twice. Headline. They won one though, right? The Lakers. Yeah. They won one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty the bubble one. Yeah, but get- like I, I I was going with um Denver to win it uh-huh. until I thought LA had another one in them. I thought they had another one in them too. If anybody could have came back, you know what I mean. It would it was them. But but Denver spent so much energy to beat the Lakers. Mm-hmm. They banged up now. Mm-hmm. I think uh, ooh, they got Anthony Edwards them next, man. Yeah, we Shit. was just uh, me, me and my, them boys healthy. We was just talking. Ain't about, nobody hurt over there. Oh, I got it yeah, in my notes. I might be right. <laughs> KD got swept the last two out of three years. I might be right because you know I got That's that off said. in my notes. I got yeah. that off Sports oh, yeah, Center. Stephen A. Them shout out. <laughs> I might be right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all think it's the end of an era, though? They was talking that end of Steph. You know, Steph ain't been in the playoffs, and he be keep uh, being in I, the... Uh, this is Steph's first year off the playoffs, is, right? Yeah, and they keep talking about he in the play-in tournament. They, you think they could carry the team no more. They talk about Brian. He got nah, swept okay, last but, but year. You, it's, I feel like this. When he gone come, first when round. Curry, you know what I'm saying? He doing his job. Everybody else need to do theirs. It ain't Curry, you know what I'm saying? It's Clay and... You, Zero niggas, points, man, I come think. Come on with this crazy shit, bro. <laughs> That's a fact. Come on, bro. That's a fact. Hey, I'm a Golden State fan, so you can't no, ain't saying, telling me Curry nothing. Gonna give I'll you, go in on the motherfuckers I'm right now, he Paul. Give you what? Four or five threes every game? Man, maybe six he if, you, if he on. He's going to give you what? A dub? He's going to give you 20 points? And then Clay come out there and be acting like he still. Like playing. he still hurt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on with this crazy shit, bro. That's yeah. what I think. I think Clay is the problem. Mm hmm. Personally, that's that's just me though. Mm. You what can y'all, only do. What, uh-huh, you, you heard him. What you, y'all think? Y'all think he, he right? You can only do so much as one player. I don't Curry wanna, always did his thing. That's a fact, man. My boy Clay been bullshitting. I just think he needs some more motivation. I don't know if it's something in the locker room. I don't think he want to leave because he said he want to retire a a warrior. So him okay. saying that, I Makes you know you what I mean. That that, you leave. know what I mean. I think that's professional talk. Yeah. Keeping it professional mm-hmm. because why he ain't signed the contract. Mm. Huh? I don't know, man. Yo, the Street Soldier Saturdays, man. That was the uh basketball, you know, sports section. Yo, when we come back, we about to go to break, play one of these ill videos. When we go, when we come back, we're gonna talk more of that uh Granville album, what got him started, and all that other stuff, man. Street Soldier Saturday. I appreciate it.
Peace Skrilla, nigga. You still living, nigga. And that's on me. Dear Skrilla, what the fuck was you thinking? Yelling R.I.P. tore me to pieces. Damn, I miss you, nigga. Eating me alive, the fact that you gone Can't even swallow that you not really home I should've never called your phone Hoping you was gon' answer Shit really fucked me up while I was out on vacation Especially since your last words to me was be careful Sometimes I wish I was the one who said it I still can't dead it Even with you hanging off on my charm It ain't bringing me the peace that I thought Lost a chunk of my heart, so chunking you up Just had to go down You even got your own logo now Niggas rocking with it I'm sick, we ain't hitting the stool So I can hit them battle raps cause now I'm battling you My dog, my ace, my bro, my goon I know the good die young but you just gone too soon I can't help it And that's exactly why it's long live Skrilla nigga At Golden Sun I had to put you on my chain Put diamonds on it and that's on me Ain't gonna be no other season nigga It's Skrilla season That's why we screaming R.I.P but the way I got you shining shit You still living nigga The streets calling you a Granville legend And I been going up cause I'ma hold you down till we meet again Dear Skrilla you still living through me But I just couldn't throw your face on the T Nah not my nigga Instead it's a pick on my wall You holding a sloppy roll like we all knew you would Balling at the funeral Had to pull myself together Couldn't go in and see you cause I knew it would break me Man all the shit that we did And I just can't figure out what to do How can I shake this shit When I know I'll never shake your hand Guess I'll pour it on your headstone instead This shot's for you And every birthday I drink like you here Cause I swear I sip enough for us both Got me tipping my cup Trying to find a way to empty these thoughts I'm really tripping off of this bruh Damn, my fam, my mans, my friend, my dude I know the good die young but you just gone too soon I can't help it and that's exactly why it's long live Skrilla nigga At Golden Sun I had to put you on my chain Put diamonds on it and that's on me Ain't gonna be no other season nigga It's Skrilla season That's why we screaming R.I.P But the way I got you shining shit You still living nigga The streets calling you a Granville legend And I been going up cause I'ma hold you down till we meet again That game my nigga I had to go single I don't do two chains my nigga Unless it's me and your bitch and a friend, then we change, my nigga. See, it's funny how the game done change, y'all niggas. Let this 40 get the hit and it'll rearrange, y'all niggas. I'm in my own lane. I'm in my own league. Scraping all the dollars, got it hard for you niggas to breathe. One thing I know is focus on the cheese. My little brother died, so in the old school, the seats gonna say R.I.P. So every time I ride down the street, I got my soldiers all on the side of me. Ever since I started getting dollars, man, it's all lies on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Street Soldier Saturday, so this your boy Jock City, man. We still in here kicking shit. Yo, man, we elevate, man. Block, man. He just spent the thousands at the uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to our plug at Best Buy. What the Best Buy? Yeah, shout out my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, yo, Alfie the Great had the funniest post of the week, man. He said, you niggas is talking basketball since we was just talking basketball. He said, you niggas is talking basketball. Y'all uh, ain't scored 15 points in a blunt in a, uh, blunts in 40s league. And y'all <laughs> talking about NBA players. Y'all need to stop it. I just had 25 or something in, in, in the old head league or something like Quest <laughs> last night. So I'm talking that shit. Oh, I mean, I was, Look. yo, Steph, nigga. I was pulling that bitch running the other way. Defense on him. Yo, we lost, uh, though. We got uh, blew out. We ain't had no subs. It was bad. Yo, if y'all looking for something to do Monday night, y'all go check out Jerry Bishop Life Quest, man. Go check out some of the... uh. Players that didn't make it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Get you a little word in, a little prayer, all that, man. He got a little stuff going on over there. Check his school out, all that, man, for the kids. He doing big things over there. So, man, yo, go check that out, man. Hey. Yeah, I'm on injury reserve. Man, all I was saying was, yo, they man. Me out man bro, that's all I was saying. I was like, man, if I had my brother out here, he at least give me nine. What? At least all three. All three. Look, you know what I'm saying? We passed into this one dude. He 0 for 
13, two for th- Yo, Street Soldier Saturdays, man. We here. Yo, we still That's kicking crazy. it with my dog, Cheese Weez. Yo, where the That's name come from? Me. My OG, he big on names. He be wanting to. And uh, that, so, that, we ain't, that's original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh. He hate when niggas be biting niggas. No, nah, it's crazy. Man, I hate that up, shit, man. I, I feel you. <laughs> I, I, and I ain't even picked my name. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, That's how it's supposed to be. Everybody call me T-Weezy. T everybody call me T-Weezy or T-Weezy. You know what I'm saying? My name start with a T. If you know me, you know what my name mm -hmm. is. But, so my dog was just, we high, he cracking jokes and shit. He like, man, you got a big ass cheese head. And he was like, <laughs> swear to God, there's no cap. This real life, true story. He like, you got a big oh, ass man. cheese head. So he, he said, cheese weed. He started laughing. I'm high. I ain't laughing. He like, damn, mm -hmm. nigga, I hurt your feelings or something. I'm nah, nigga, that shit sound hard as fuck. I like that way better than tea weed. I always been about my money. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So cheese just it, it felt right. Mm -hmm. so I ran with that. I changed my name from T Weeds because I've been rapping since shit. I don't even know how long, but so I changed my name from T Weez to Cheese Weez, and I just been running with that ever since, bro. And it Lord. just worked for me, you know what I'm saying? That's ill. That's ill. I mm -hmm. like that. What got what, what got you into rapping? Since you said you've been rapping forever and shit. Uh, shit, writing poems. Word. Oh, you a spoken word, nigga? No, nah, bro. Uh, we had a we had a uh <laughs> we had an assignment, bro, in second grade. And I wrote a poem. And, 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 and the bitches and, went wild, or the females went wild, and you stuck <laughs> no, with it. No, the teacher was just like, this is how it's supposed to be constructed. You know what I'm saying? And ever since then, I've been writing ever since. And then eventually it turned from, you know, me writing poems to writing verses. Like, you know, when I was in, I think I went to the studio when I was in like third grade. They didn't let me record because I was so young. They were mm -hmm. like, man, this little nigga. But as I got older, I'm like, shit, fuck it. My man's had a studio. So we used to skip school and go to his shit. That's I used to get in the poem. You know uh, we had an assignment in second grade. Yeah, and it was it was you liked it. Yeah, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? He like write a story, but rhyme, rhyme your story. Yeah, so I wrote a story, basically a poem. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he just fucked with it. You, you know already knew how to do the poem off top, or they you, you had no, to ask you know, questions. No, nah, bro, growing up, um, you know, well, first of all, my dad used to listen to like Barry White and shit. Yeah. Shout I've out always Pops. listened to music. My mom listened to. Uncle Luke and shit. Yeah. And then my uncles would be listening to like DMX and shit like that. So I've always been listening to music. So I'm like, oh shit, he basically talking about like rapping kind of, but just yeah. in my own words. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's so how you I was took already it. hip. Yeah, I, that's how I took it and I just ran with it. And I've mm -hmm. been making music ever since, man. I don't think I really got serious with it until like my son was born. When my son was born, that's when I was like, okay, if I'm going to do something with it, I'm going to do something with it. And, uh, that's when we started doing our own shows and all that. But yeah. then, you know, COVID happened and we all got shut down. So, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Took a break. What got you moving on into the, uh, like, the business life, the shoes and all that, the store and all that? Yeah, uh, so. Uh, Man, shout to Fine Line Bo yeah. Boutique. If y'all don't know, y'all tripping. For sure. We inside Rogers Plaza. Pop at me. Mm -hmm. But, um, so, bro, growing up, um, I ain't going to say I was poor. You know what I'm saying? My mom made it, made it do what it do. I just couldn't get what I wanted when I wanted. I guess that's how I can put it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got good shit, but it was birthdays, Christmas, times that mattered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So when I, I was like, man, when I get older, bro, I'm going to buy whatever I want. And my cousin was a reseller. So I used to pay him to go wait in line for me, mm -hmm. get the shoes. But then it became a time where he it, it was three shoes in a row he couldn't get. And that made me mad. So I'm like, bro, one day I'm going to just have my own store. And it just so happens, no, no, cap. Word, no. It word. just so happens. Too much bullshit. Fuck it. I'm going to yeah, get my own yeah, store. No, no, <laughs> and it just so happens, like, I was making uh, clothes first. I was making tees and sweatsuits and shit. Mm -hmm. I put my shit in the store um, of a nigga who had a store like my shit. So he had a re resale shop and he decided he didn't want to have his store. And I said, I'm not going back to the trunk or the basement, bro. I'm already in a store. I'm not going backwards. Yeah. So what I do is I buy your inventory and then I change the name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and that's how I got fine line, bro. It basically just fell in my lap. Word. I ain't go looking for it. It looked for me. Yeah. And it just so happened to work. We six years in now. So. Word. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's where, good. Where, where it start at? Where you taking over at? Um, where the first location? Um, 28th Street. Uh, Basically like 28th and uh, Madison. Mm -hmm. That area. Like right across the street from Checkers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but right next to the Cash Advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right there. That's why I, I took it over at. Unfortunately, we just kept getting broken into. Yeah. Um. So I moved to Rogers Plaza, and it's been lit ever since. Oh it's, yeah. It was lit there, but yeah. You know, minus the break-ins at Rogers Plaza, we ain't. I don't got to deal with that. So. Yeah. Word, word. It's been good. Business been good. And yeah, you know, shout out to you know, Dugout D. For sure, you man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my brother. He the one who put me on. And um, 
you know, I'm right next to Designer Diamonds, and I'm across the hall from uh, the dugout. So I'm in a beautiful place, bro. Great foot yeah. traffic. I'm a, uh, yeah, beautiful. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I can't complain at all, not even if I wanted to. Is the uh, sneaker shit still like it was like a few years ago? You know how it had that just big boom of just like mm-hmm. everybody reselling shit and you buy a shoe, just everybody was in that shit. That shit kind of faded out or that shit still do? What, no, what it's I definitely, like? I, I think it definitely faded out. Um, as far as on the resale side, there, it's hard to get a shoe that's really worth something. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you catch one that's sold out, that's where I come into play. I'm basically, you know, make my little fifty dollars or something. Mm-hmm. But back then, you're talking about the times where yeah. every shoe was three hundred, four hundred. Nah, mm-hmm. we ain't having them times no more unless it's like a Travis Scott or something crazy, or mm-hmm. uh, uh, maybe a SB or something. But I feel like, um, you know, as far as sneakerheads go, which I know you are, yeah, with, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It, um, it's always gonna be like that with the real sneakerheads. We don't give a fuck. It, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's gonna always be gonna that. be like that. So that's what I was gonna get to too. I think what I think is dope that, you know, we can go into the store and get them shoes that we want and not have to pay resale that's a f- all the time. Because that you know shit was getting out of yeah, pocket. Because I know that's my business, you, you know what I mean? That's what I do, pocket. but at the same time, I be like, I always tell people, bro, if there's a shoe at the mall or somewhere where I know it's at, I'll tell them, go get it, bro. Mm-hmm. And if it's not there and I got it, then yeah. come see me. Word. But I ain't, the money gonna come regardless. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather somebody be like, nah, he a real nigga than be like, man, I feel like he just trying to get me, get me. you know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, I ain't never been that. So I think it's dope that people got the opportunities to go and buy the shoes they want now. Now, there is going to be certain stuff that we don't get or we can't get. And that's where I come into play at. So I still win. But if you can win, shit, this a win-win for both of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. I look at it. Was it kind of crazy to navigate through that, uh, that whole little wave? Or was you just like really winning through that wave? But like. Oh, the whole was, reset when everything was like super high. Man, was yeah, you man. having to pay them prices too, or yeah, you was I'm, lucking up catching shit no, to really make shit, your bro. money? I was okay, shit. I ain't gonna lie, like just I couldn't hit on none of them fucking apps and none I, of that shit, bro. I used so to be like, what example, is this bro, shit? My example, wife, shout out my wife. Yeah, she even be buying. Man, shit. I already even, come she on, pull bro. up and buy. Yeah. You know, shout out to her for sure. But <laughs> like you know, um, there was uh, let me let me see something that I caught for retail. Uh, Travis got dunk. Um, I. There was 150 plus taxes, so 159. I think I sold them for 1800. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Travis Scott. Yeah, facts. Shout yeah. out the dog. All yeah. his shoes crack. Yeah, all his for shoes sure. Crack. For you know sure. What I mean? So I was definitely eating. I think we all was as as far as resellers go. Yeah, this you know, nigga block was going crazy too at one point with them Travis Scotts, man, dog. I know you yeah. got I know. I, he was popping up like man. I was like, damn. Yeah. I mean, especially if you hit him for retail and make you want to wear them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it make you want to wear them. Because I don't think I would want to pay $1,800. That just sounds me. crazy. Yeah, because when I buy stuff, bro, I be looking at the investment. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to pay 1800 and then wear them. Now I'm only finna get 1300 back. Mm-hmm. Nah, if I can get them for retail, I'll definitely get them for retail and wear them and then sell them for 1000 or something. Mm-hmm. It's just better. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's and how I look at it. You got to really know the business getting in that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Facts, facts. Yep. Speaking about the kids, you was talking about your, uh, having your son earlier made you get focused and shit. Speaking about having... Having your kids involved in the business and the music and everything, I done seen your daughter in videos. I done seen I done seen her at the store ringing motherfuckers up, cashing yeah. them out, all type of shit. So, yeah, to what me, made bro, you do that early? Um, so basically, when it comes to my kids, bro, I just try to show them, um, that anything is possible. Word. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, when growing up, people all, will always tell you, uh, you could do whatever you want, you know, whatever you put your mind to, but it ain't always that easy. I didn't have somebody Hell to no. tell me and then show me. That's they always told me and then went out about their business. So I had to figure shit out myself. Now, when it comes to my kids, I tell you and I show you. Mm-hmm. So like my you know, my daughter, she want to do hair and nails or whatever the case may be. So when she come to the store, I let her ring people up. And you know what I'm saying? Do so she that. know about when it's her she time. No, know like, okay, I know this is possible. But mm-hmm. well, my son, you know what I'm saying? I put my son on music because I wanted him to be on a song that I was talking to him two or mm. through i should say so like when he get older and he get to listen to that song that i put him on he's gonna know like oh and my dad been saying this shit the whole time that's like a older nigga talking to a young nigga because mm-hmm. when they're young they're not gonna listen mm-hmm. when he get older he's gonna be like damn that, that older nigga was right <coughs> you feel me so that's why i put that's why i do what i do with my kids bro i just want them i just want them to know anything is possible bro they could do what they you know <coughs> You could do anything in the world you want to, but you got to put that work in too. I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to show you as well. So that's why I put them in a lot of stuff that I do. That's real. That's and I'm real, real family oriented too. 
Y'all know what it is, Street Soldier Saturdays, man. We about to go to another break real quick. Hey, you, you never too old. You never too old, man. These uh to do what you want to do, start what you want to do. Uh, Chris, what's that? Christian Dior was started by an uh, old motherfucker. He was in his forties. KFC, all that shit. Go look it up, man. All them niggas was forty plus when they started their business and shit, and left it to their families and shit. You know, it's gonna be longevity type shit. Uh, man, so. You never too old to chase them dreams. I'm telling you, man. The average millionaire is 57 years old. So, shit. you know what I'm saying? Y'all kick a little knowledge to y'all every now and then, man. We about to go to break, man. Block play <laughs> some of that hot shit. Why see why the fuck you do that, man? Like that, like I can do this shit alone. Shit alone. Money, power, drills, never bring it to your home. To your home. Wonder where you been? I've been blowing up your phone. Your phone. For the lean that I've been needing me a zone. You know it's real love if I accept you when you wrong. You know it's real love if I sacrifice my hoes. You know it's real if I fuck with you when I'm broke. When I'm you know many times I heard I need to let you go. Need a long time, I ain't even seen the bros. A lot of days off trying to see what you want. Million dollars worth of game, you can't tell me what I know. See my New bitch, you can't tell me I ain't go. Never tell no shit, keep everything low. For that loyalty, you get everything you want. I did some bullshit, but I put it on the floor. I just need a little time, yeah, I need a new approach. I was Gucci over here, I ain't never buy you coach. In this cold world, everybody need a coat. Yeah, it's kinda funny, you don't love me. I can't even lie, girl, I'm all about you. Baby girl, you fine, ain't no bitches like you. Ain't gon' fuck one time, you know I went round two We been going hard for a minute I be getting lost when I'm in it You ain't gotta ask me I'm ready I'm ready Got this shit on lockdown All them bitches want your spot now They in my line, they getting shot down You see what you got now Make me feel like I'm on top now Been thinking about you when I ride around Promise you won't change, you'll be only for the moment Promise you gon' hold it down, if not, then I don't want it Promise I won't tell you that I'm real because you know it Promise I don't want nobody else and I'ma show it I've been feeling lost in this house without you I can't even lie, girl, I'm all about you Baby girl, you fine, ain't no bitches like you Ain't gon' fuck one time, you know I'm in round two We been going hard for a minute I've been getting lost when I'm in it You ain't gotta ask me I'm ready I'm ready See, why the fuck you do that, man? Yeah, we back. Oh, we live. Street Soldier Saturdays. I was talking crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't put that on the bloopers, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was talking crazy, man. Yeah. We lost by 30, so, you know, you can't even really. Shit. Man, maybe. Man, it might have been more. It was, you know, we was good first half. You did your thing, though. Yeah, I was on fire. That's I don't know what the niggas was talking shit. about. That's what I was saying. That's sick. all that you know matters. Yeah. How long has it been since the last project? Since the, but, you know, in between projects? Um, I know you said life was life in this shit. Uh, damn, bro. I can't even lie. I think it's been like three, three years, two, three years. But see, this the thing, too, man. Bro, I got. Hell of no, music. no, no bullshit. I got four projects done already. You know what I'm saying? I released Granville Market 2. I got Granville Market 3. I got Crash Course. Um, and I think I got Granville Market 4 done already. Some shit like that. But and two, you know what I'm saying? Me and my brother Cheeks, um, we got a whole project coming out in this this summer. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Cheeks. Yeah. Um, it's called uh Better Late Than Never. Okay. Um, the single if that's your bitch, then why she going? Um, I think that's gonna come out probably this month or next month. So like shooting a visual to it? Yeah. So okay. bro, it's like the music never stopped. I just stopped putting it out, which is crazy. But like, you know, 
I didn't realize how many people really fuck with me too. Life That's what I was going to start putting it out. Life was life. Shit, bro. Because real, real talk, bro. So, so prior to COVID happening, bro, I was in Atlanta every month. You know, but when COVID happened, niggas wasn't. I wasn't trying to go nowhere. I ain't gonna cap. I got kids and shit. Oh, I wasn't. For real, for you know real, what I mean? I wasn't. I wasn't really trying to. You know, fuck with it like that. So I just really stopped doing shit. And I was doing my own shows when I was home. You know, cause. You know, sometimes our city could be a little rough. You know, niggas might not put you on their show. So I was doing my own. So prior to that, we was lit. We be talking about that too. You know what I mean? We was lit. But then after COVID happened, I'm like, shit, fuck it. We chilling, we chilling. You know, my son, he do, uh, first of all, my son do basketball, football, and track. Mm. So I'm busy, busy with him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And a, mm-hmm. a, a lot of a lot of this shit, bro, is, uh, I didn't want to miss it. Word you know for I mean? real, that, for real. that time mattered more than anything you could buy your kids because they're gonna remember that shit. So I'm like, cool, this what we doing, Hell son. Yeah. That's what we doing. Yeah, so, see pops in the crowd. I'm about to show out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it's okay. You know, I'll get back to the music. This it, it, it never left me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I just was to the point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it when I'm when I'm ready. Cause sometimes you you don't have that same energy. And I don't want to go out there and not make some half ass shit. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to go yeah. out there and not give it all my 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 all like I used to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what made me put that Granville Market two out after a while because I was like, yo, like I think I even need some motivation music. Right. You know what I'm saying? So boom. You got any more uh, visuals coming from that project? Yeah, I do. Yep, yep, I do. Uh, I know comeback for sure, which is I think number two mm-hmm. on the project. Um, I already put out two. Videos mm-hmm. prior to me putting the project out, um, but I know comeback for sure is gonna have a have a video and then, um, yeah, it's on to the it's on to the shit with cheeks, man. Um, Word. Summer vibe, so that's what we on next. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. What's your favorite collaboration? I be seeing you collaborate with Big Bang Donish. Y'all got a nice little chemistry pause. You yeah, know what I'm saying I like what y'all be doing. You I fuck I fuck with Big Bang, man. Yeah, free Big Bank, man. For, for real, sure. For real. He um. Man, it, it was like it was like Big Bank started rapping and just took over the city, bro. I don't, I don't know why or how, but he did. He got he got his own sound. He got his own, and sound. a lot of so people you, fuck we, with him too. Yeah, and yeah. he don't write, which yeah. I think is dope. Oh, he don't write. He I ain't don't know write, that. bro. He don't write. I seen the nigga do it. He don't write. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's a dope. Jay Z got these boys fucked up. Well, nah, that, this is well, what that's it is, a, that's bro. That's education to nah, me this because is, that's kind of hard to do. I think, I think that's a gift. Hell yeah. It's, it's, not, hard. it's not hard. It's not mm-hmm. hard at all. Not Speak to take, on it. I've been seeing, seeing a lot of people missing, their, not forgetting their rhymes. I've, mm-hmm. I've never seen Jay-Z forget his rhymes. Uh-huh. I ain't saying he ain't did it, but I haven't seen it. I seen Weezy forget his shit. I seen yeah. Ja forget his shit. I think we all do because yeah, you get nervous before you perform. And motherfuckers have a lot of shit, though. Yeah, in your head. In your head? Yeah, so this is this is what I was going to say when you said it's hard. It's not hard because when you write a rap, yeah. You doing the same thing you did in the studio, you just writing it down. Yeah. yeah. It's the, there's no difference at all. No so, difference. And you so repeating it like, over and over be again. Like you getting in the studio and you reciting your bars until you get a 16. Mm-hmm. You're just not writing it down. You're writing it down in your head. Because yeah. everything you finna rap about is in your head already. Yeah. Because it's stuff you actually did or something you seen somebody else do. Yeah. So it's so it's not really hard. You know what I'm saying? But going back to the question you had asked me, I think me personally, my favorite. Uh, collab that I've ever done was the song with Peasy. Okay, that was my yeah, one of my yeah, favorite yeah. songs ever. Mm-hmm. It just got a different vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Where that's that's you how know. you get that connection? Um, Cello, CYC. Cello. Shout out to my brother CYC. Mm-hmm. Um, so he got a song with him. I was in the studio already when Peasy was coming to the studio. So I'm like, man, I'm a I'm a I'm a put him on one of these songs. He had two songs to pick from, but everybody picked. Drive through, which is which is the song that yeah. me and him got together, and um, yeah, he went in there and he don't write either. He did two verses in thirty minutes, got up out of there, went to Holland, and did his show. Mm. And he came from a show, which was even crazier. Grinding, grinding. That's how you, you know gotta do? Saying? Gotta be on that grind. Yep, that's one of my that's one of my favorite collabs. I think though, cool. just because it it just it, it because I think because I got Peasy out of his his element. element. You know, Detroit music got that same beat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It got the same repetitive beat. It's just it might sound a little bit different, but I, I put him on, I put him so, on yeah, yeah, something yeah. that I like. You know what I'm saying? Word. A beat that I would do, and, and he went crazy. So that's probably one of my favorite ones. Who you listening to right now? Out the city, famous, uh, both. I'm not gonna lie. It's not that I don't like none of y'all. 
So don't, he ain't listening don't, to don't, none of don't you niggas. Take, don't All take, you niggas rapping don't that take shit. This, I ain't trying yeah, to hear that shit, cuz. You know, I don't take this the wrong way, but I really only listen to my niggas, bro. Man, I don't I'm really listen to too to many people that, that I don't fuck with. Not that I'm biased. Not that I don't care about y'all. Some of y'all fire. But as far as the city go, I really only listen to my niggas. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be Cheeks, be Garber. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, them, 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 them two mostly. But as far as like industry, bro, I'm Drake. Okay. I, I just, because I like the way... He can go from rapping, and he, he 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 can harmonize. He got melodies. It's he's a different type of animal. What you think about the, the the beef right now? Who you think? Uh, uh, first, okay, let me say this. I'm glad you said that. We was just talking about this on the way here. I think Kendrick's verse on was, this on the new diss track. No, on the future on the future. Okay, okay, okay. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. That verse was stupid to me. It was that was damn near a song in itself. Mm-hmm. Now Drake. Drake did go crazy. I don't know if you heard the one with the AI with Pac and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made him take that shit out. That was some of the most. He got sued for that. He getting sued for that shit already. No, no, no. That was some of the most. They they made him take take it down. down. They made him take it down. But that was some of the most jazziest shit that I've ever heard somebody do to a nigga in a battle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kendrick just dropped something today. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kendrick. That shit was trash. J. Cole dropped some shit. But J. Cole is more like. J. Cole knowledge dropped rap. some shit? Yeah, he's more knowledge rap, though. He dropped some shit for Kendrick, and he apologized about it, which yeah, is yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I, wasn't I, really after that, that apology, it wasn't, you ain't even say nothing too crazy It wasn't for you hard. to be apologizing about. Yeah, it wasn't about. even that hard, bro. I've been, I didn't, I've been I dele- like that Kendrick, I deleted all of my J. Cole out of my that's phone. That's crazy, because of that? Yeah, man, I can't rock with you, though. Because now when I listen to your music, if you say anything... Then you like, he a sorry ass. You sorry ass. No, it ain't even that. It's like if I... I you know what I'm saying? I got, I had a certain view of you. You okay. know, like you attack rappers, you this, you that, mm-hmm. you top three, you this. I got a woody whoop. Mm-hmm. You be saying slick shit in the raps. You no, know what do. I'm saying? He do. So now when you say it, I'm not even going, man, you're going to apologize to this nigga if yeah. the smoke get to, or yeah. if he ain't, See, I don't, you what don't... What I think is, I don't think J. Cole is really a... A, a, a rapper yeah. to be And I in, respect that But you, you know shouldn't I mean? even Jump out the window Yeah he should've just Let I, it be He should've just Let I'm it saying. be And do his little Slick shit like he always But call, he got hella fans Don't need me Shout call, out Cole Stay in your lane Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So when you in your lane You ain't gotta apologize For shit No facts I think it's dope though That Kendrick Definitely woke The rap game up With just a verse Man everybody beefing But yeah But you know His 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 The shit he released yeah, today Was kinda trash The girl J. Cole shit was trash you know what I'm saying? I mean, I I feel like Drake really winning right we now come, when it comes to the battle. When it comes to the battle, stand on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. stand on your shit, man. Yeah. Don't don't mean talk. what you say and say what you mean, man. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, yeah, we can't sure. fuck with you. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. Y'all see, uh, uh Megan Thee Stallion getting sued since we talking celebrity news and I didn't know that. Why? What, what happened? Man, allegedly, <laughs> y'all was waiting on it. How long <laughs> we been on the show? Y'all was waiting on it. Allegedly, she was getting busy in the car, man. With another girl and the cameraman was in there, and, and they like it. he ain't like it, man. He trying to he like dog. You got me in a foreign country. I can't get out the car. I can't escape. I ain't got nowhere to go. You she ain't was, let me get none of that motherfucker. Yeah, she talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's you probably ain't let what me get like. none of that motherfucker. Like, she, hold on. Allegedly, yeah. she talking crazy to him. The, uh, took his pay, demoted his pay, or some shit, downgrade mm-hmm. some shit, a bunch of. I ain't got all the facts and information. If you want any more information, y'all go do your Google. Man, I'm, the, dri- yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. the driver, and I'm driving Meg the Stallion around, and she getting top dog, and they getting busy dog, and not, y'all ain't made me to listen. Yo, hey, yeah, what? <laughs> 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 hey, what is it, huh? Yo, hey, yo, what y'all you know, doing? Man? Man, what's happening? What hey, I'm hit the brakes. <laughs> what you think about Chris Brown and Quavo shit? <laughs> Who you think? Hey, you know what's crazy is I heard. Hey, I kind of like heard, Quavo I, shit. I heard. I, heard the, I like I, Quavo I, shit. I didn't hear, it wasn't fucking with Chris Breezy. I'm not saying it was okay, fucking was with Chris say, Breezy. I didn't hear. I didn't hear, I didn't hear Quavo shit. We on bullshit. But, but, but Chris Brown. Oh, what? I like Quavo for shit. The, for for Chris Brown I to be a it was singer better than Brown shit. and to rap like that. Yeah. To to you. You, uh, you yeah, lost he was talking, already, nigga. Yeah, he yeah. talking. He was bro, talking. And he said crazy. you got body by a, a singer, nigga. Bro, you would have thought that nigga didn't sing, bro. The way he and rapped. Him, you know, come on, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah, know with Chris Breezy. I just said I liked it. I like, you know. Because I don't he, like Quavo at all. So yeah. to hear him rap like that. Yeah, like, oh, okay. Well, he got some help. He got Somebody help. wrote that. 
No, from oh. the, he had that takeoff shit on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's like a little help because takeoff dead. Yeah. He really was the rapper. So it's like a little help because motherfuckers want to hear take. Mm-hmm. Just that little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Why, why so, they beefing, though? What? Over, man, over it's Sweetie. always over a girl, over man. Sweetie. Over Sweetie you know, and man. Karuchi, though. She, she, Sweetie with ooh, YG? I don't uh-huh. know what's good. So now y'all look crazy. Yeah, because she, she don't give a fuck about y'all. Yeah. Uh, oh, nigga. Yeah. It's that's always... Even, that's nuts, bro. All that... That's nuts, it, bro. I mean, to me, it all just that blows beef. the female up. I think that's what yeah, Drake fact. and everybody beefing for. I think all that all shit be them, over man, some females. So, uh, the hey, the Instagram models and all that. Mm-hmm. Man, I had that shit last she night, man. You get it tonight. Yep. She might... You uh, might have flew her out. Hey. I might have sent an Uber to her. Yeah. You know? And she might have told me. You know what I mean? You know what I think is crazy, so man? I'm talking crazy. These like, niggas all is, these niggas are simp. These niggas is multi-millionaires, and they all fucking the same bitches. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. crazy. Like, come on, bro. I wouldn't it, be a... Bro. It's high school it's shit. It's a pool that's of them motherfuckers. It's yeah, a whole like, pot. Bro, a, y'all be overseas. Y'all be all these places, and y'all still fucking the same none. girls, bro. How? That don't even make man, sense I don't to me. Like, why would y'all be doing that? I'm going to pop up with the motherfucker. High school shit. It's high yeah, school shit. Let me go get, you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, don't even worry about it. That's, go ahead. That's high school shit. That's just like around here. I done heard so many niggas say Grand Rap is small. That's why everybody fucking is saying, no, it's not. It's because you niggas is chasing, oh, that was such and such baby mama. Oh, I'm oh, about yeah, to get yeah. her. Yeah. When we was yeah. younger, me and yeah. my niggas, yo, I'm retired. Yo, you see me so I can talk about it. Look, when I was younger, Man, we was everywhere. Hastings, Sparta, uh, Caledonia. Yeah. Here, yeah. All that's Grand Rapids. Uh, anything that's 20 down the belt line, man, that's Grand Rapids. Man, we was everywhere yeah. doing shit, man. We wasn't yep. fucking the same. We wasn't even trying to go after, oh, that's who? Oh, I ain't messing with her. Mm-hmm. Yo, I ain't even going to get too deep because I might get in trouble. Yo, Street Soldier Saturday, we going to go to break. <laughs> we be back, man. We going to kick some real shit. And then we're going to get up out of here because you know them games is on, man. Yo, FanDuel, if you need us, tap in. Yo, Bel Air, we got the whole city drinking this shit. Yo, Ciroc, I know y'all got rid of Diddy, so y'all might need somebody else wow. to get down. You know what I'm saying, Paul? Ciroc, no Diddy. No, yeah, Ciroc, no Diddy. <laughs> they might need some new, Ciroc, uh, you no know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, Ciroc, Ciroc, Street no Soldiers. They, they might need somebody else, so you know, we here. Holla at us, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we going to come back in a minute, block, pay some of that fire shit, cuz. Fucking soon as I walk through the door And I'm talking She like that go Trina when you walk in She don't got these pretty bitches stalking I just wanna ball out Fucking said I'm all down Ain't show my love because I ain't all out Baby girl, I ain't all out Didn't wanna pass a rock, I got the ball now Ain't no time to waste, I got a ball now when we out of state, we have a ball now Know that I'ma always stand on business when they fall down uh, Bitch, that did me dirty when I call now I be living fast on the low I be moving fast and I ain't got nowhere to go All these niggas can't be that stuff, I don't know But you know we fucking soon as I walk through the door I'm talking, but you know that shit know what you fuckin' She know got these pretty bitches stalkin' Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah a young nigga living fast, feel like he running out of time Ain't nobody give him nothing, so he stay on the ground Stand up, nigga, he got cooking when it faces time Pray they hold his daughter down, the only thing on his mind Nigga lost for 600 grams, that left him stressed And he took four shots, but he survived, so he bled The ops threw some, he threw some back like he playing catch Fuck a robbery at the hospital with his chain on his neck Do it look like I'ma fold the niggas? Do it look like shit sweet? Do I look like a hold of niggas? I wanna know, my nigga. Cause every time we see you, nigga, stand on business, we gon' blow you, nigga. I've been living fast on the low. I've been moving fast and I ain't got nowhere to go. These niggas cabin, that's something I don't know. 
But you know we fucking soon as I walk through the door And I'm talking She like that go chin on when you walk in She don't got these pretty bitches stalking Why the fuck you do that, man? That's yeah, rich. See, that's rich people shit. And he ain't right even there. there, huh? We back yeah, street yeah. soldier Saturdays. Y'all catching that off air ca- uh, conversation? Yeah, we be having that yeah, off air yeah. conversation. Spend the night, real. I mean, the, spend the night. The off air conversation be better than the show. Food. I don't give a fuck. But we can't get y'all down. all at, 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 at one time. You hear, bro? You hear? <laughs> you feel me? Yo. We, before, we, <laughs> be, before we left, we were shouting out that No Diddy, and you said that No Diddy is crazy. Since you uh in the hip hop industry and trying to break through and all that, do you uh think like a lot of the gay rumors and uh yo, I'll shout out all the you know, do your thing. Yo, you think the rumors is like kind of fucking up niggas' careers and fucking up the whole hip hop industry right now? Cause you see like what Meek Mill going through and shit. It's like, don't yeah. nobody want to hear no music from Meek. All they want to know is, did you do it or did you not yeah. do it? You know what I'm saying? So it's like I can't even front. I don't even listen to Meek no more. Woo! See what I'm saying? I used to listen to Meek. Hey, he hey. dropped the album with Ross. That little shit. Nobody cared. They like, man, did you? We heard yeah, about that's crazy. So do uh, that's, that's like crazy. that's all hey. you hear, and they just trying to find dirt on every rapper. So I'm like, damn, is they trying to fuck the? Hey, and you don't even up. know if it's true, but they saying they saying Nicki leaked that tape for real. No, uh, you know, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, they said she been had the proof for for a long time, but she she was scared of the power the tracers. That, she was scared of the no, not oh. the tracers. Oh, she the powers was, that be. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, she, you know, yeah. She, this was the perfect time. Allegedly. Allegedly. I mean, how I feel about it is... If you solid, you solid. That shit don't matter. <laughs> no, it's how I, this is how I feel about it, bro. You know, it's always going to be stuff in the industry that we will never understand because we're not there. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we don't know if it's true or not, but yeah. on top of that... I'm going off I don't, just I don't, allegedly. I don't want to be rich that bad. Hell no. No. Just I don't want to be few... rich that bad. I don't bro. want that type if of I'm, money. If I'm not meant to be rich, I'm not meant to be rich. Yeah. That's, that's what I got to say. That's about crazy because, type of money. Because, you know what I'm saying? If you go into these, whatever it is, these events or whatever the case may be, you know what could possibly come about from that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So for me, that's why I said there's probably a bunch of stuff that we would never know about. We don't know if them parties is real or they not. But I know one thing I'm not going. Yeah. No, I, I know one thing We've been I'm hearing about going. The motherfuckers For 20 years I'm so not going I don't None of that shit that To bad, a motherfucker bro. That's my age Is like surprising mm-hmm. What's surprising now Is You know The footages Of it Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like it wasn't footage of shit like that. Whatever it was going no, on. No, they back said in when the they day. raided his house, they was looking for allegedly. The, 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 the video. Yeah. But but uh, yeah, that allegedly. That but part. when they but but uh, once again though, they say when they raided his crib, allegedly they run going to get him. They was going to get what they got on him, on them motherfuckers that they was raiding mm-hmm. the house. <laughs> Like, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Yeah, that that's it. We got to get in there, dog. I was over there. Oh, that, yeah. See, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> that's hey, crazy. That's you know, he was partying with the police and all kinds hey, of shit. Yeah. That shit is super deep. And, yo. That shit is above everybody hey, pay grade. A, a person said to me, because they seen a comment, or, or not a comment, they seen a show where it was like, oh, like, like I was happy, like, did he want... I'm, it's not that I'm a, it's entertainment for like uh yeah, you Usher see, and No, um, you seem like you was happy though. I'm with them. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, you seem like you was What's happy. happy. No, yeah, I'm about to great. explain it. Look, it seemed like or whatever, but look. You bro, Usher I just said, ain't wanna but yeah, get on cool. you when you did the shit to go out with you. Seem like you Usher happy. and T.I. Yeah. said it best. <laughs> Your life is our entertainment. I don't want to hear about no complaining. You motherfuckers making millions and all that shit. So if you choose to do some dumb ass shit and get caught, I'm clowning. I don't give a fuck what's going on, who. It ain't no, I don't want to hear about no black man on none none of that. Nigga, if it's funny to me, I'm clowning. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what it was. I thought he was going down for allegedly 
What you accused of? Yeah, y'all see and, what Big Bro said, and though. And you didn't admit Nah, son. <laughs> yeah, word. Nah. Yeah, then I said him next week riding bikes. I said, oh, yeah. he Gucci. After I oh, said, yeah, nah, that's right. But that goes though. for any entertainer. Y'all motherfuckers be crying about people and all that. Y'all, look, man, y'all be showing too much love to these entertainers. Y'all be in their comments ha wishing happy birthday. They don't even reply to you motherfuckers. Y'all be... If Rihanna get pregnant, y'all be congratulations and woo-doo. She don't give a fuck about y'all. Oh, so when they get in trouble, nigga, I'm clowning. Nigga, I don't care who. Y'all got millions and y'all choosing to do dumb shit. I'm clowning, nigga. Hey, if I say it's something, y'all like, just holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got time to be explaining this shit. Just holler you at me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, what I'm saying? You know oh, high, shit. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Holla at me, man. Since you OZ. got the uh the the story, you ain't um you ain't get hit with none of that scam wave. You know niggas is uh, hell yeah. He got hit with the scam. You know niggas is true scammers. They living off scam. We and all done been hit the with the store. scam. I'm looking for the scam. I seen man. a uh, fucking motherfuckers up. I'm fucking y'all up. Sorry, bro. I see. <laughs> I see the video where they came in a uh, shoe store, and they was trying to get some shoes. With a, with a credit card, mm -hmm. but he used the wrong lingo. You know the little uh, scammer lingo about some about their car busting or my car oh, yeah. cracking. Or <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. the scammer lingo is, he used yeah. it, and the store owner was up on the lingo like I'm sleep on the scammer lingo. He said it in the store to one of his people, uh -huh. and the store owner was on it like, Nah, you ain't using no cards. You got to use straight cash in here, or she nothing. Yeah. So you ain't got you ain't you ain't tried to run nobody car and they come back yo what this shit is fraud fraudulent no nah, so like with my with my uh system that I got you know what I'm saying if it's something wrong with the car it's automatically oh, it's automatically yeah. going to decline it but oh, don't yeah. get me wrong they out here if some do go through what am I supposed to do about it yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got because me. most of the time, <laughs> where, where, where you talking about this, most of the time the scammers are smart. They're not stupid. They don't need yeah. the card. They could put that card on their Apple Pay. Hell yeah. Come in and dip it. motherfuckers is good. You, you going to question somebody who pay with Apple Pay? Fuck it. Because you like, that's on your phone. What am I supposed to question you about? That's on your phone. I don't even, you, you're not even, first of all, you don't even got to show me the card. That's what I think about the scamming stuff now that's tough because Somebody can have your card on their Apple Pay and don't got to show nobody that card. I don't know. I've never been to a place where somebody bought something with Apple Pay and the person at the register was like, let me see that card on your phone. Make sure it's yours. Mm -hmm. Never. No, no because ID it's your nothing. phone. You're tipping. Okay, cool. Keep it moving. Yeah, that's that you futuristic, man. So, they so, killing us with this technology. I see yeah. it all the time, man. Yeah. Go back. But don't get me wrong. There has been people who tried to come in the store and try to, you know, and I tell them, like, bro, uh-uh. We ain't doing that. Don't do that here. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bring me cash. Go do that somewhere else. Because, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, I think we all know young niggas, old niggas who be scamming and shit. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny because I be feeling like, why none of y'all scamming niggas got money? Yeah, they blowing it. Y'all can go scam and steal a bunch of clothes or get free food or get free hotels. Why none of y'all got money? Yeah, I just I don't want to be a scamming nigga with no money. I just come up in a different era, man. Scam motherfuckers, all them scamming motherfuckers need to be shot twice. Damn, that's how you feel about scamming? Shoot them, man. You you done got hey, hold on. You done got scammed before, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tough. That's why he want y'all to be shot and shit. Tough, man. You hey, scammed you know before. What I, mean? I just keep it one thou while, man. You know what I mean? For it's real, man. Yeah, man. if we you ever know catch you. I come from like like I'd rather you take it. Oh yeah. I feel what strong you're saying, army. Though. I feel what you're saying. Though. I come from that. You know, yeah. rather take it like dog took that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you know who took it. Like, the scammers, you don't even know who they is. They come in all shapes, sizes, yeah. colors, and shit. You know what I mean? No, I, I, so, I, you know, when you come from where I come from, you're going to think like that. Yeah. Off the top. Yeah. You know what I mean? No faking, no front end. No, I'm right there with you, though. Growing up. I'd rather you take it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm right there I'm with you, though. I'm going to respect you better that way. That okay. scam and shit, that's like some weasel. It's, it kind of is, though, because growing, like, even growing up, bro, <laughs> I didn't even know what a scammer was. I was around hustlers, like, nigga. What? Niggas who scamming? dress nice. And that's, a, that's hustlers, the hustle nigga. now. That's nigga. Like the scammers. No, I'm talking about real hustlers, though. I was around hustlers yeah. and pimps, yeah. nigga, like my grandpa and shit. Yeah, yeah. On my dad's yeah. side, yeah, I him you. and all his brothers was pimps. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My uncles and shit, they was all hustlers. So yeah. I didn't even know what a scammer was growing up. I just yeah. know niggas had nice cars, nice clothes, and money. I ain't see niggas. I don't even. 
I don't even think I knew what a debit card was until I was fucking old enough to get a bank account. Mm -hmm. Niggas had money when I was growing up. Niggas wasn't no fucking cards. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of with you on that, man. Mm -hmm. Get you some money. I'm late on all that, so I read all that shit, man. Get you some money. I just got all that shit, man. And cash always been king. I don't care who you are. That's what I be saying. Cash is king, bro. I don't even like using a debit card. And they trying to get rid of the dollar for the gold. That's why niggas got to buy gold and silver, bro. Mm-hmm. That's the investment for real. If you're smart, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me talk to you young niggas real quick. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas be out there buying all these diamonds and shit, lab or natural, that's cool, but that shit just look good, my nigga. When you down on your knuckles, nigga, they ain't gonna give you shit, shit for them for diamonds, that, nigga. And if you buying, so if you buying bullshit gold, like 10 carat or some shit, they're not gonna give you nothing for that gold. Listen here, man. When I buy jewelry, I only buy 14 karat gold or better. And I don't put no diamonds in my shit. If I'm ever fucked up, nigga, best believe I'm getting paid. And my shit don't even look like y'all shit, but my shit 10 bands. Just a chain and a charm. That's it. Yeah, man. You niggas... Investments, little niggas. Be smart, bro. That's don't be real. dumb. It's real, man. Diamonds look good, but they ain't worth shit. Mm-hmm. They, ain't Yo, worth, they ain't worth the charm you got them in. Man, if we had more time, I swear we'd get into some more conversation <laughs> and some more, you know, I got some shit on this phone. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> though, you know. But we gonna get back with y'all next thing. We, next time. Hey, we got OG gonna hit you with some uh gonna hit him with the with the with the questions, man. The five joints, man. Yeah, if, okay. If you already know what it is. You mm-hmm. know, if you're from Grand Rapids, give me five things that you should know about it. Yeah, about Pe- Grand Rapids? Yeah, yeah. people, places, people, if you places, born. You know, somebody might come here, from you know, from out of town. Okay. You know, they might, they uh, might need to know some it's places It's like, man, if you're from Grand Rapids, man, you, you got know? to know that. How you ain't know that and you from Grand Rapids, man? All right. I'll give y'all. Okay, shit, if you from Grand Rapids, you should, first of all, you should definitely know Van Andel. That's, that's, one, of the, that's one of the biggest showcase spots we got when it comes to, like, um... How can events, I put this? Uh, events, but not, you know what I'm saying? Just say the concert. big events. Yeah, Let me right. say the big, big events. Yeah, the show Van you should know, is that the you first should, time Van Andel been spoke? You should, know, you should, know, about, you yeah. should know about Van Andel. Yeah, you should so. know about Van Andel, okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, On the other side of that, which is directly across the street, I believe. Um, Is that directly across the street? I could be wrong. But you should know about 20 Monroe. You should know about 21 Row. Yeah, that's kind of directly. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should know about 21 yeah, yeah, yeah. Row because yeah, that's, that's where they have diamond. some of the biggest yeah. concerts at second to Van Andel. Word. Right? Yeah. Right. Word. Okay. Two. Word. Number you three. some shit, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, it's it's just different. And this is, this is I, I'm basically going towards people who never been here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you're going to go downtown if you come. Mm-hmm. The Griffins. Oh, the Griffins. Very different. All yours is first. The Griffins. Time. You got to know about the Griffins if you from Grand Rapids. Yeah, that's our hockey team. Yeah, you feel me? And they be winning shit. Yeah, yeah smacking shit. You All gotta know. You gotta know about the Griffins. Okay, yep, that's a first time. Um, another thing you gotta know about is what's um, that? Three. That's three. All right, we on four. Yeah. Um, Metro Cruise. Four Metro, Metro Cruise. Never been mentioned on here. Ever. I'm a bad motherfucker. Never ever. Born and raised in this bitch. Ooh, he got some. Good I'm a bad ones. motherfucker. Metro Cruise. You got them whips. Metro I don't Cruise. even mean to interrupt, I'm, but I'm you got them about, whips. I'm thinking about people who never been here. If you never been here, I just named you some shit that you can go and see or do. Yeah. Metro Cruise is one of the biggest things. They do it every year. What is yeah. it, August? Yeah, August. August. Every end year. Of August. Uh, end of Go August. see some of the dopest cars. Some niggas be selling that shit. It's food trucks out there. Um, It's just vibes, it's man. Just I mean, thousands party. of people. It's just it's a just big vibe. party. One more? Yeah, okay. one more. I was going to say something else, but I'm going to say this. If you from here or you ha- it just or you never been here, Art Prize. Oh. Art Prize, Art my prize. baby. Ain't people come... All around the world to come to Grand Rapids and show their art. Yeah, that's and big. win what a hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah, I think it's like yeah, it done went up. Now. It done went, went up. Okay, okay two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. That's mm. five things for y'all outsiders to come to our city and turn up at. You know what I mean? I'm a bad motherfucker. Yeah, that's and, a and fact. And they get opportunity we ain't never to paint, done of that. Paint shit downtown. Yeah, it's sculptures. Yeah. It's shit in the water. It's shit on hotels. It's, it's shit we call everywhere them utility, downtown. Them utility boxes down mm-hmm. there with all the paint on yeah. them. Yeah, that's the art prize winner did that. That was a crazy five things that, that irritated me. That was crazy. Me. For sure. I mean, irritated me. That was a good me. one. 
I'm ready to do it. Things that irritate me. Y'all heard me say irritate me. I got shit on my mind. That was a great five things you should know if you're from Grand Rapids. For you know sure, I be sure. doing them irritate me on Instagram and Facebook. Check me out. It's a, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, like, that was a good one. one. That was great. That was a good one right there. This you has been Street Soldier said, Saturdays. Hold on, I, hold on, let me, let me, hold on. Did I say five things nobody never said? Never, yeah, ever, never. ever. Bad motherfucker. You know ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dog, y'all don't watch this and try to copy it. Yeah, yo. Because <laughs> y'all be froze on the spot and just be like, oh, yeah, bro said this. No. Yeah. Look, Street Soldier Saturdays, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Give them all your Instagrams and woo wops and woo doo uh, Cheeseweed 600 on, uh, on Instagram. Fine Line Boutique. Finally Living Better Instagram. Um, Don't worry about the Facebook. Just hit me on Instagram. Um, uh, if if that's your bitch, then why she going? Coming super soon. Uh, better late than never. Coming after that, you dig me? Mm. That's a fact. Let them know where the store at. Uh, we inside of Rogers Plaza, main entrance across the hall from Maya's restaurant, across the hall from uh dugout, and next door to Designer Diamonds. Pull up on us. Y'all heard that, yo. Make sure y'all tap in with bro, man. This was Street Soldier Saturdays. It's your boy. It's we had more time, I swear. I got some shit, I'm telling you. Hey, yo. <laughs> Jock City. OG Ozilla. Yeah. Head DBIC on the ones and twos, y'all man. See Cheese me. Weed, special guest. Y'all, see, yes, y'all see me with the loyal true phone. Yeah, I got that pink Street you Soldiers know? on, man. One on one. Y'all can't man. find y'all it. Y'all go out and get that shit. That's my nephew shit. We out. Skrilla, what the fuck was you thinking? Yelling R.I.P. tore me to pieces. Damn, I miss you, nigga. Eating me alive. The fact that you gone. Can't even swallow that you not really home. I should have never called your phone.